This is winter, when highway travel is surrounded with a special beauty, a beauty fraught with delays, frustrations, dangers, and hazards. Do you recognize these dangers that are ever present along the icy roads and around each slippery curve? Is your car ready for the winter months ahead? Have you mastered the technique of starting on ice or snow, of keeping going in the right direction, of stopping when the road is a glare of ice? For 15 years, a task force of experts from state and federal governments, researchers from universities, and engineers from the automotive industry have met under the auspices of the National Safety Council to study the problems of winter driving and to find the answers so that a better informed driving public will be a safer driving public. Later, this test information is analyzed and the findings prepared into reports and manuals for driving instructors. Safety tips to help you with your winter driving problems. Prepare your car for the weather to come. Put in antifreeze. Check the wiper blades and pressure against the windshield. The windshield washer and defroster systems. Highway de-icing agents spray a stubborn film on car windshields. Check the exhaust system for leaks. Carbon monoxide is odorless, treacherous, and it can be fatal even in small quantities. Check the battery. Cold weather puts a greater demand on your car's electrical system. Put on your snow tires for that extra margin of traction that will help you get going. And don't forget the front tires need a good deep tread to assist in steering and braking on slippery roads. Check the tire pressure. Normal pressures are recommended. Always carry reinforced tire chains in the trunk, ready for use in heavy snow or when the road is icy. They won't be any help at all if they're back in the garage and you're blocking traffic. Now you're ready. The first snow has come and you're late for work, school, or shopping. But wait. Clean off that snow before you try to move. Loosen up the wiper blades. They might be frozen. And wipe off the outside rear view mirror. Brush the snow off the rear window. Now the inside rear view mirror can be used for that extra margin of safety. Open one of the rear side windows to keep the glass from fogging. Fasten your seat belt. Make this a habit and it won't be crammed down behind the seat cushion in that instant when you wish you had it on. Ready? Then start off, but like the turtle, take it easy. Spinning the wheels won't get you anywhere. You'll just dig a hole for the car to sink into. Getting ready to go so far has involved only common sense. Getting rolling when the snow is deep requires some special techniques. Why do they always leave the biggest snow piles next to your car? If you're not bogged down so the chains, a shovel, or a wrecker are the only answer, then you can try rocking. Get the car moving backwards and forwards by a rhythmic shifting between forward and reverse. Without spinning the wheels and digging yourself in deeper, until you have enough momentum to carry you through the drift. Once in motion, the problem arises of keeping headed in the right direction. What special driving habits and techniques must we learn to keep the car on the highway and avoid unexpected hazards? When snow and ice conditions prevail, those tire chains in the trunk are your best bet. They're easy to put on if you know how. And here's a tip on how. Notice the chains were fastened when last put away to keep them from tangling. Lay the chains on the ground with the reinforcements up 
and the side fasteners to the rear. Check for any twists or tangles. And be sure the reinforcements are up. Adjust the applier to fit the tire. That's the heavy piece of wire that comes with most sets of chains. Hook the applier into the front end of the side chains and push the applier and the chain onto the tire. Gather the chain in back of the wheel so that it will not catch. Now move the car forward slowly until the side chain fasteners are about axle high. Remove the applier and save it. Saw the chain to remove the slack. Then hook and lock the inside fastener first. Hook and lock the outside fastener with the chain pulled up as snugly as possible. Retighten as needed to keep the chain snug. Now you're ready to go, but even with chains, take it easy, please. Here in graphic form are the results of carefully conducted tests at Clintonville, Wisconsin. They illustrate the starting, pulling, or hill climbing ability on glare ice. A car with regular tires, deep tread and proper pressure, will pull about 100 pounds. With snow tires, 125 pounds, some improvement. With regular tire chains, 330 pounds pull, a considerable improvement. With reinforced tire chains having projecting teeth or cleats on each link, 510 pounds, over five times better than the standard tire. On packed snow, performance is substantially better Regular tires, 400 pounds. Snow tires, 600 pounds. With reinforced chains, 1,200 pounds. This information is based on hundreds of test runs, and they all show that winter driving is different. On snow or ice, your traction is only a fraction of what it would be on dry pavement. Now that you're rolling, let's see what the problems are. On ice, you may not be able to turn when you want to. This car is not turning even when the steering wheel is rotated. Enter a curb slowly. Turn the wheel slowly to take advantage of the maximum turning power of the front tires. If you oversteer, straighten a bit, then turn again. Too much gas on a turn and the rear wheels will spin and your car may go into an uncontrolled skid. When you feel the wheels slip, ease off on the gas pedal. When your rear wheels start to skid, turn the front wheels in the direction of the skid and stay away from the brakes. Locked wheels may make the skid worse. Remember to drive slowly on any slippery road. 20 miles an hour on ice may be too fast for the same curve that you can take at 60 on dry pavement. In starting or accelerating to make a grade, do so gently. Use a slow, sure touch to help the tires bite in. Watch for the danger spots, intersections, driveways, curves, hills, snow drifts. Slow up before you get to them. Afterwards, it may be too late. We've seen how difficult it is to get started on ice and snow. Well, it's just as hard to come to a safe stop. The important thing is not to lock your wheels. Those are locked or you lose steering control. To slow down or stop, pump the brakes, apply the brakes quickly. Then release, on and off. Once or twice a second until you've stopped. Do not freeze on the brake pedal. You'll almost certainly go into an uncontrollable skid. Pumping the keeps you headed in the right direction when stop steering.
Don't touch the parking brake. In scenery, about like this. Safe winter driving means more care and less speed. Easy touch on the brakes and gas. Try your brakes occasionally when the road is clear and keep plenty of space between you. Snow tires and chains can afford a significant margin of safety in stopping as well as starting on ice and snow. Here are the test facts. At 20 miles per hour on dry pavement, the average car with regular tires can stop in 21 feet. On glare ice, it takes 195 feet, 10 car lengths. With snow tires, 174 feet. With regular tire chains, 99 feet. With reinforced tire chains, 77 feet, still over three times the distance of regular tires on dry pavement. In loosely packed snow at 20 miles per hour, regular tires stop the average car in 60 feet. Snow tires in 52 feet. With regular tire chains, 46 feet. And with reinforced tire chains, 38 feet. But that is still nearly twice as far as regular tires on drive pavement. You can't do much about the weather, but you can be prepared for it. Let's review the important things for you to remember. Have good tires. Snow tires are recommended. Use reinforced tire chains for severe conditions. Heavy snow or glare ice. Always carry chains so you won't be a traffic blocker. Check that the windshield wiper the heater and defroster are working properly. Clean the snow and ice from all windows and ventilate to prevent windows from fogging. Get the feel of the road. Try the gas and brakes as highway conditions permit and then adjust your speed to road and weather conditions. Follow at a safe distance. It takes three to 12 times as far to stop on snow or ice as it does on dry pavement. Pump the brakes to maintain good control when stopping on ice or snow. Conditions are hazardous during the winter. It's up to you to winterize your car. It's up to all of us to winter wise our driving. <laughs>